Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about what are my two favorite projects on Aaron. And I'm also gonna show you a negative example, something which I don't really like to see. And I'm gonna explain to you why I don't like to see it. We are at the Bitcoin chart and I just wanted to make a quick shootout that the fed meeting yesterday went quite well and we can already see it on bitcoin's price we didn't get any bad news we didn't get any good news everything was pretty neutral therefore since it looks like the market already priced in some bad news we might pump but for that we need to break some resistance zones let's go forward and i'm gonna start with one of my favorite projects which is holo right obviously that was the first one which was announced on air on blockchain that was the first which was listed on my r exchange but that that is not why it's my favorite. It is my favorite because they are transparent and I was adopting that and I'm explaining you why. Also, they don't care too much about crypto and blockchain and the crypto coin which they have the right token. It's mostly secondary for them. To be honest, at the first time when they said that they are not gonna develop only for Audi, I adopted them. I was thinking that since they are all coming from Audi, they work for Audi, Audi backed them, funded them, so on, so on. There is no way they are gonna be let to work for other companies, go for other car manufacturers. But as you can see, they already partnered with Hyundai. They are part of the Zero One Accelerator, which is for the new developments. It's like a team which sees in the future, something like that. So I'm very happy to see that. And the reason I don't care whether they are focused on crypto or not, and I'm more happy to see that they are not, is because the main priority for them is not to be listed on other exchanges. That is not a priority for them. Their priority is to do the work, if to partner with car manufacturers, if to have a product which they can offer, and then others can come to them to list their project on certain exchanges, which is obviously a very bullish sign. Maybe not for the near future, but midterm future maybe. Therefore, I'm also interested in projects which are more focused on their product and not on their tokenomics and what exchange lists them and stuff like that. The second one which I want to talk about, you already know it's QOWAT. At the first glance, it wasn't my favorite and I said that I don't know if I'm gonna invest in them. The reason why I said that was because when I went through the team, I could tell that they have no experience in this. Because what you need for this kind of project, you need engineers, political lobbyists, you need marketing people, so on and so on. I'm not saying that the guys, the co-founders or the founders don't know about this, but their LinkedIn profile, for example, doesn't reflect that. They are making progress. Not that they only released a new website, which is mainly for the charging. They also tweeted that the charging stations are already in manufacturing. That is a huge thing. And obviously they have many partners. That's why I changed my mind and I invested in them. And probably I will in the next pre-sale as well because phase 6 pre-sale is coming. The bronze token will be 2.05 Aaron. At least that's what I uh, remember. But I will need to check on it on Telegram. So as you can see, the main recipe for me at, as how I'm looking at project is to have a product. Now I'm not talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a very different type of token but if you look at the cryptocurrencies at the altcoins this is the same thing what happened in the dot-com bubble everything which had dot-com on them every company or every anything which came out and had a website they were rallying that's what the altcoins are doing right now now this bubble will burst sometimes but what happened after well everything went down but some of the companies remained they started to grow and that is from where they started to build up and the first peak, well, it was really negligent. Another angle that I'm looking at, if a project is appealing, because everyone who shields a coin, who promotes a project, they are making marketing for the project. And what we need for those new people, we need something which is next level because NFTs, cryptocurrency, so on, so on, everything is next level. It's a digital level. So something unusual for the new people, something which they just dip their toes in and they don't know whether they should put their hard-earned money in it or not. Therefore, here is a project which I don't really like and that is Plata Network. I don't want to say that this is a bad project. It could turn out that this is a good one and a big one. And I can see that there is NFTs and racing and play to earn and many more things. I ran through the white paper. But for me, this is not an appealing website. The first thing a new user, a new potential investor, a newcomer basically sees is the website. If the website is not appealing, which looks like something from the 2003, that's not very appealing. Because that doesn't suggest that this stuff, what we have here, is next level. And it's the future. Because this one, well, 
somehow points into the past. I'm not saying that I don't recommend to buy Plata token, everyone does whatever they want, and honestly, just to make a statement here, I will not buy any Plata tokens because they didn't put the effort to make a proper website, something which could bring in new people, something which would grab the attention of an inexperienced potential crypto buyer, something like that. Therefore, yeah. For me, this project is non-existent. Tomorrow I will hold a live stream uh, where I will discuss in more detail what happened at the Fed meeting, what this means for Bitcoin, for cryptocurrency and for the stock market, what we are facing for this year basically. I'm gonna also talk about the other projects on Aaron because you asked me a couple of times why I don't talk about them and what I think about them. Therefore, I read some white papers, I prepared some materials and I will hold a longer live stream. So if you're interested, press the subscribe button, smash the like button if you like the content and stay tuned because tomorrow is live stream time.